Crisis, available online now, new thriller starring Gary Oldman, Army Hammer, Evangeline Lilly, Michelle Rodriguez and Luke Evans. Pretty good cast and a pretty interesting subject matter as well, as the story is related to the opioid crisis in the US, which is very much an ongoing thing, if, and if you read into it, the proportions of it are pretty unbelievable. Such a shame then that the film takes an interesting subject and turns it into a very mediocre story or stories, as there are three distinct storylines going on in the film. Um, the first one is the most disconnected, comes in no contact with the other two, and in it, Gary Oldman plays a university professor and a researcher who's doing lab work for um, pharmaceutical companies. While testing a drug that is meant to be this revolutionary painkiller that's completely non-addictive, um, he discovers that it is, in fact, three times more addictive than comparable drugs and highly toxic on top of that. However, he only has one animal study to support his doubts, and the drug is already in the final stages of approval at the FDA. And so he finds himself between his own conscience, which would dictate that he pulls the plug and reveals the truth, and the powers that be, both from the pharmaceutical company and uh, the university uh, powers, which try to sweep the whole thing under the rug and just make him keep quiet, adhere to the NDAs, take the money and, and don't, make a, don't make a mess of this. Second storyline follows Army Hammer, who is an FBI agent gone undercover, um, working the international gangs, smuggling Oxy from Canada to the US, and is trying to organize a deal which would allow him to catch both sides red-handed and destroy the whole organization in one sweep. But the gangsters begin suspecting that there's a rat in their midst and things start getting difficult. And finally, we have Evangeline Lilly, who's a recovering oxy addict, and her teenage son is unexpectedly found dead, uh, supposedly from drug overdose. But he didn't really, he wasn't really taking drugs. And so as soon as his mom starts her own independent investigation, it turns out that the truth is far more sinister and the son got caught up in the dealings of the very same criminals that Army Hammer is working to take down. So these two storylines eventually come together, albeit in a poorly written way, whereas Gary Oldman remains completely on the side. And this whole structure is my biggest problem with the film. It feels incredibly disjointed and all over the place because the three storylines have so little to do with one another. In fact, I'd much rather see two movies. Um, one about Gary Oldman, that is a sort of whistleblower movie akin to the report. And the second one, a full-blown crime action thriller with the other two characters in it. I think it would make much more sense to, to disconnect those stories, to do it this way and give more room for those storylines to breathe and those characters to become more fleshed out. Because as it is, they aren't really that developed, um, certainly not well enough for me to care about any of them. Maybe Gary Oldman's character, but the remaining two, I just couldn't find myself engaged in their stories. We, we know too little, we spend too little time with them uh, to, to, to really sympathize, to really know who they are as, as people. And if you try to break it down and look at the storyline separately, it turns out that they're all actually incredibly simplistic and, and don't have that much exciting stuff happening in between them. Um, the movie tries to cover that fact by constantly jumping between, between the storylines. But if you think about it, it, it's, it creates this illusion of an engaging movie where there really is none. And again, I don't think every single part of it was horrible. Uh, I think there is some good material in the film, elements that could work quite well, in fact, if they were properly developed, but they just aren't. And what ends up as the final product is a mediocre mishmash of half-baked ideas. A disappointment, to be sure.